Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to downgrade your 3.70 PS Vita or PS TV to 3.65. So to do this, we will be using the downgrade helper. This is actually a VPK file that we can install and it will actually help us downgrade our PS Vita or PS TV really easily. So as you can see right here in the system information, I'm running 3.70, this will all also work on 3.69 um, or pretty much any other firmware really. This will also work on 3.68 as long as you've got Henkaku installed um, either with HN Core or if you're using Trinity like me. So let's just close out of the system settings and as you can see I've got Trinity right here but you just want to go ahead and just start up VitaShell go ahead press select go and connect this to your PC via FTP or USB it's entirely up to you and I will show you guys what to do from there okay so over on your PC I will leave a link to the upgrade and downgrade helper in the description of this video this one is um, specifically for 3.65 firmware so what you guys want to do is just click the blue download link right here and it will just begin downloading the VPK file so once we've got this VPK file what we guys want to do is just go to our downloads folder and you guys will just be able to find your VPK file in here but what I'm going to do is start up the FileZilla um, FTP software and as you can see I've got it right here we're just going to connect over to our PSTV and then we're also just going to put in the port which is 1337 and then we're just going to click on quick connect and this is just going to connect so let's just click on OK and we're simply going to get our VPK file and we can actually put this inside of our UXO now it's up to you where you decide to put it it doesn't really matter too much but we're going to copy this across to the UXO it's actually a really small file, so it should only take a couple of seconds. And once it is done, we can go back onto our PS TV and we can actually install it. So once we're back on our PS Vita or PS TV, we can actually go into our UXO and we can find a VPK file and just quickly install it. So here is mine, just um, 365UDH, press X, X again, and it's just going to, and it's just going to install it very quickly. Okay, so once it is installed, what we can actually do is just close out the Vita shell and we can find it on our home screen. Now, this is actually the best app to actually downgrade to 3.65. 3.65 is probably one of the best firmwares because it has ENSO on it. Obviously, 3.60 is good as well, but that is slightly older. Here you go. If you're using a SD to Vita PSVSD USB drive, make sure that you have the original memory card mounted as UXO. So yeah, make sure you've got the original memory card. I don't actually have an SD to Vita or the um, PSVSD USB drive in right now, so we can just press X to continue. Here you go. Never attempt to use the module from the SD to Vita or USB. Um, you know if you've got it plugged in because that's just going to screw up your device so press X again and here we go so we've got a few things to install we can press um, triangle to install the module app so we're going to install this on UXO so we're just going to press triangle and there you go it's going to install it and there you go we can press X on OK now what we can do is download the 3.65 um, PUP file so press circle to download that now this one uh, takes the longest, as you can see it's 127 megabytes, I've got enough space for that, um, but we're just going to wait for this to download, uh, just give it around, I'd say maybe about 5 minutes. Okay so once this is finished we will get a system message just saying it's moved it to the modulary folder so we can press X on this one and then the last one we need for now is just install Hencore so just press X on this and it's actually just going to install this for us as well again I don't think this should take too long so, so just wait for it to do its thing and now it's just going to restart to update the database so just press X for OK on this and it's just going to restart the system Okay, so once it has restarted, we can just check, and as you can see, we've got HN Core, of course we've got Trinity, and we will need that. Um, we've got the module app, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So obviously we need to launch Trinity again, to not launch HN Core, that might cause a few problems. Haven't tried it, don't really want to risk it. But anyway, launch up Trinity, and we can exit it straight away. And what we're going to do is now open up the module app, so just press X on um, the app wait for it to load and then just press X on start 
and it's just going to give us some information. It says firmware information. Our current firmware is 3.70. The factory firmware, so the first ever firmware that was on this device um, that works for it is 3.20. And the target firmware we want to downgrade to is 3.65. Just check, make sure that is correct. It then says, do you want to downgrade from firmware 3.70 to 3.75 to 3.65? Press X to confirm or R to exit. We're going to press X to confirm. And then there you go, basically it's going to continue in um, 20 seconds, so we're just going to wait for it. And there you go, it says um, press X to accept the terms and start the installation, or press R to not accept and exit. I want to downgrade, so I'm going to press X. And now it's just going to start installing. So if you guys followed it exactly how I did it, it should be working perfectly fine. We're just going to wait for this to install. Now I don't know how long this takes. I think it could take quite a while. Um, so let's just wait for it. And I guess I'll be back and show you what to do next when it's done. So then it's going to end up on this system update screen. And it's going to say please wait. And obviously all we can do is just wait for it. So let's just wait for this. And it's actually just going to start downgrading um, once this finishes loading. If you're stuck on this for a while, um, you can actually be on this for some time. And there you go, as you can see, um, installing system update. Okay, we haven't got long. It's only got um, 30 seconds. Once that finishes loading, it looks like it's going to restart again. So let's just wait for it. And here we go guys, we're now on our PSTV and it looks like it has been downgraded. So obviously we have to find out exactly. Let's go ahead and open up the system settings before we know which custom firmware to launch. Then we can scroll down, we can go into system, system information, and there you go guys, we are on 3.65 and that means we need to launch up the HN Core custom firmware. So let's close out of the settings, let's find it. Make sure you launch this instead of Trinity if you're on 3.65. Obviously just check to make sure it works. Let's go ahead, press X to launch this up. Pretty much exactly the same thing if you've never used it. Press X on exit and there you go. We've now running HN Core custom firmware instead of Trinity. And it looks like Trinity is actually gone. So that's quite interesting. And then we're just going to open up the um, update downloader, update downgrader again. Just press start on this. We actually need to install the permanent ENSO. So we're just going to press any key, press any key again. Uh, we need to press um, square this time to install ENSO 1.1. So just press square. It's just going to install the VPK to your home screen. Again, it should just take a couple of seconds. There you go, ENSO installed correctly, version 1.1. Let's press X to exit. We can press the home button and I'll close out of this. Everything should have been installed. Here's ENSO. We can go ahead and start this up. And we need to press circle to accept. And then we need to press um, cross to re like install ENSO. So just press X. And then X to continue again. And then X to reboot. Looks like it's going to update the database again, but it shouldn't do it every time. And now we should have permanent custom firmware on 3.65. Obviously we need to test this out. Let's go ahead, let's launch out Vita Shell, and it should work as soon as your console turns on. So there you go, Vita Shell loads up. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is how you downgrade your PS Vita from 3.70 or 3.69 to 3.65, install Hencore, and then uh, make it permanent with the Enso custom firmware. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.